So currently I'm on the custom operating system along with all the Roblox tweaks. And we're on the highest possible settings along with futuristic lighting and we're averaging around 250 FPS to 40 and we're getting 50 ping in game. So obviously many people do not care about quality and render distance. So if we go to the lowest setting, now we're getting 300 FPS. So the first thing we want to do is download the custom operating system file. All the links will be in the description. And while that's downloading, we also want to download Rufus. When that is done, go to your download and open Rufus. And for a device, you want to choose your flash drive. And we just want to select our OS. After that, press start. And just press OK. After Rufus finishes installing the operating system on your flash drive, restart your PC and go into your BIOS. Then boot off of the flash drive and install Windows. So we're back by on a fresh installation of XOS. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Task Manager. We can see that there's almost no background processes. Our CPU is at 5% usage, almost no memory usage, and our GPU is at 30%, but that's because I'm recording on OBS. We want to go to this folder on XOS, then set up GPU drivers, and since I'm NVIDIA, I go NVIDIA. We're going to run this. Just press next. And if you use Shadow Play or GeForce Experience, you enable these two, but I don't, so I'll just go on to next. Once it finishes, follow along as I Sibon enable these tweaks. Then press next and install. I agree. And we want to do express and just press next. The next thing we want to do is go back to XOS and set up a browser. We're going to go to number three, and since I like Firefox, I'm going to install that. Once it finishes installing, we're going to go back to the folder and go into browser optimizations. Here, since I did Firefox, you want to choose the one that you installed. So I'm going to run this as admin, and we should be good. So the next thing we're going to do is configure our system. Go configure services and feature, clipboard, enable, and run as admin. Windows search, run as admin, and type E, then enter, and we should be good. Then after that, go troubleshooting, then turn on UAC. Then after that, this will be in the description. You want to go to the command prompt and just copy and paste this in and you should be good. The next thing we're going to do is go back to Firefox and install our network drivers. Since we're Windows 11, we're going to download this one. It might take a while because the company is in China. Once it finishes downloading it, you want to open it in File Explorer and press Extract All. Then just run it. And we'll do install. Your next step is to go back to XOS and go into Set Up Other Drivers and run this after Network Driver Installation as admin. And you should be good. So the next thing we're going to do is set up Blockstrap. We're going to go to this link and press the exe one. Then we're just going to open it. After you finish installing Blockstrap, we want to go to this fast legs link and copy all of this. Then we want to go to the Blockstrap menu and go to fast legs. Follow along as I change all these settings. Frame rate limit, zero. 
Use old material textures on. Use alternate graphics quality selector on. Then for your preferred lighting technology, choose phase one. Then we want to go to fast like editor and paste what we just copied. And just press save. Next, you want to open any Roblox game. And we're already seeing about 400 FPS. And about 270 FPS on the high graphics. We're gonna close Roblox. You wanna type NVIDIA control panel. Manage 3D settings, program settings. Add. And select Roblox, then add selected program. And just copy all of my settings. Now, we want to go to bitsum.com so we can download Process Lasso. Download free. Install it. Then we want to go back and open Roblox. Search Roblox in the search bar. Right click on it and set CPU priority always to high. Then do profile power profile to bit some highest performance. So that was mainly all the tweaks you can do without undervolting or overclocking, and I won't get into those because you can possibly damage your system. Thank you for watching.